Holly Signorelli here and this is Ask Holly. I'm your money therapist and this is for my business owners out there. And this is part of our series of balance, boundaries, and being present. So I just want to give you a few quick pointers of th ways that you can have boundaries throughout your day as a business owner. Number one, Try putting your phone aside when you're driving to and from work. This is a big deal. Most business owners statistically get up early in the morning. It's just some kind of statistics that I've read a million times. And of course they want to use their time commuting, especially if they're in traffic, making phone calls and being productive. But it's a really good idea instead to listen to a podcast on iTunes or or listen to some good music, something maybe upbeat to get your day going and your energy going. So unless you have a really, really long commute, I highly recommend not talking on the phone, not making phone calls. Um, you really you don't have anything in front of you in the car and you can't make any notes. It's difficult. To, and then you kind of already start your day a little bit stressed off and stressed out and feeling a little bit uh, behind to begin with. So that's number one. Number two, you have to have a schedule at the office. You've got to have time to do your stuff, whatever that is. You've got to take care of the employees and the things that they need. You have to actually run the office and handle the mechanics of the office. And of course, probably most importantly, you have to have time to meet with your clients. So in order to do that and to be present and to be efficient and effective, you've got to compartmentalize your time. And I can't stress how much it's important that you stick to that schedule. Way back in the day, I didn't do that. And then I started having my schedule when I see clients and I found that my schedule just totally changed and I was so present at those meetings. But when I tried to squeeze people in at other times and things kind of, you know, they just didn't go as efficiently or effectively because I'd be thinking about something else. And I want my attention to be 100% on my clients when they come into my office. So stick to that schedule so that when you're with employees or even if you're just doing your bills or, you know, the stuff that's not very exciting, that you can be totally present at that moment. Now, getting to the end of your day, I think it's very important when you come home that you have some kind of shift from your business mode to going to home and being with your family or if you don't have a family just relaxing or if you're out having fun with some friends the bottom line is you need to have some kind of shift there and I found different people that I talk to and this has been my experience too is a good 30 minutes of just listening to some calm music, some people sit on the patio, have a beer after work or a highball or whatever it is, just take that time. My dad used to do that growing up. He would walk into the house. He didn't say hi to any of us and he would go back in the back of the bedroom and he'd be there for about 30 minutes and just took some downtime and then he would give us his undivided attention all evening. I have so many great memories of that. He never carried anything from work to home because he did that. So those are just a few simple things that you can do throughout your day that'll give you some boundaries and make your day go better so you can be more present in everything that you do. Everybody have a great week. Bye-bye.